Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Randomizer Challenge, where in today's episode we're at least going to catch um, some new friends, I have to think, and hopefully we'll probably just fight a lot of trainers. Um, in case you need a quick refresher, let's take a quick look at the team as it stands. Of course, you remember the last episode, Sporkles, the champion of the Cerulean City Gym, who took down Misty's hilariously themed bug gym. Uh, no problem. Just no problem whatsoever. Oh, hopefully Happy today is going to evolve, because I'm pretty sure even though Happy doesn't evolve into Croconaw until 18, then you get uh, the reverse where um, they evolve really early into a Feraligator. So hopefully that happens today. Um, Happy and Sparkles, just the bestest of buds, as you might imagine. After Happy's terrible, you know, terrible first day being, um, you know, part of part of a team, just we had we caught the Pidgey livid, you know. Every you know, <laughs> uh, today was the the same day the first episode of the Nuzlocke went live, so we just watched the premiere. It was so funny watching the different camps form for people who were like Team Livid and other people who were like put Livid in the box. So. Uh, I'm curious to uh, see everyone's reaction next week when Livid dies. Um, so, anyway, uh, after that, Happy was rewarded by the Pokemon gods with a shiny team member after just fail. We had so many whiffs in episode one, but we got we have our shiny Sparkles now, and the two are just such besties. And you'd think they're such happy, like they're they're like very positive Pokemon that it'd be very easy to be friends with them. But it has proven a difficult friendship to become part of i'm not sure if that says more about them or the other pokemon on the team but dracus continues to just you know like moirin was the first uh the first pokemon to join who didn't really know how to get inside this friendship uh but quickly found friendship with dracus our other sort of like alpha style dragon female type pokemon on the team uh dracus who desperately wants to become a salamence even though they are a solid 30 levels away at this point we'll get there one day dracus um does not very much respect Happy as like the, the leader of the team, which he so naturally is, not only in strength and level, but in just uh, general um, charisma, dare I say. But Dracus not, is winning friends. Obviously, uh, Moirin, we've talked about, that that's there. And then Cece, the only other female member of the team, uh, as you might expect, being sort of a bulldog, is a bit of a, um, it's a very, it's a very protective Pokemon. And, uh, you know, the, the two of these, I can't help but notice they both have re very large fangs. It feels like some potential fang unit alpha stuff happening right here. Who knows, but CC has been just like watchdogging Dracus, like full support of Dracus as team leader. And then, sadly, we have little Data, the seal here. And like the Data and CC kind of got on the team very much at the same time. And you could see like the other two French sets of friends on the team. And you know, Data just wanted CC and himself to have that like same kind of like buddy buddy. Just wants CC's approval so bad, not getting it, not at all. CC has no, no time of day for Data. So that's been kind of sad to watch thus far. But um, we're gonna do some training today. Actually before we do anything what we're going to do is go down to the next route to see if perhaps we can catch a new pokemon um because as it were i really like the type coverage we have on the team but we do have data and happy so we have like double water types and um to that end data will evolve into a dugong eventually and that'll be an ice type but if there's something else we could have we may as well check the ne next route before we go and you know start grinding uh, that up. So let's go ahead. We have to go fight this rocket. We'll see what they've got. Typically, they've got like a drowsy, and this can be a somewhat tricky fight if you're not ready for it. But um, well, we have no idea what they're going to have this time. Let's see an electric. Ooh, well, it's just uh, Gen Three Electric versus Gen Three Electric, isn't it? Uh, let's go. Do we have anything? Do we have like a hard counter to electric types? Oh, I guess we have more. Right? We can go there. Yeah. Thunder wave. Oh no. Go Mega Drain on this. Oh, just Moirin, just wrecking this thing. Of course, we all remember um, the last Roselia we had on the team uh, a few a few Nuzlocks ago, who eventually ended up as team leader themselves. Our mighty Hamilton. You can see them at the top of the screen right now, just above the. Just, oh, look! They have a mine in too. My goodness! This isn't, of course, very shiny and sparkly like ours. What a basic mine in. <laughs> team Rocket. My goodness. Have some class, why don't you? 
scorching. We got the pull. Ah, come on. Give me. It's specially defensive. We got to remember that. Can't disrespect the special defense. Mm-hmm. But Morgan gets level 21. Leech Seed. Yes. I love Leech Seed. This is such a good move. Like, you almost cannot die once you've been... Okay, we have... Uh, we're gonna... I think we're gonna get... Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna get rid of Stun Spore, because... Uh, or should we? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of Stun Spore, because... If we can do Leech Seed Poison Sting and get that um, combination going, then that is death for your opponent. If they can get Poison and Leech said, Fantastic. Fantastic. Good job, Moirin. We got Dig! All right, that Dig is good too, because that's another good electric counter. Um, see, we're gonna save that for a second. The other reason I want to catch something, because if, if if perhaps uh, we catch something that might do a little more, give us a little more type coverage than data on the team, then we can um, save Water Pulse or give Water Pulse instead to Happy, which we got from Misty in the last episode, so. There's that. Anyway, the next route is just right here. Yay! Isn't it route five? Okay. So what's it gonna be? Oh, man, I I can't. We're only on like the fifth episode, and I can't even tell you. Like I still get like the nerves. Like what are we gonna run into in the grass? Oh gosh, here we go. Route five. Come on. It's a Vulpix. Oh, fun, 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 fun. You guys know I like some Vulpix. We just recently did. Well, not recently, but. Before the Nuzlocke, the last video on the, the on the channel was, can we defeat the Elite Four with just a Vulpix? And the answer was, yes, we could. So, um, you know, basically a ginormous fire uh, powerhouse on the team. I think, oh man, um, let's go Thunder Wave, first of all. Mm -hmm. Ember. And we're going to go Quick Attack. Tail Whip. Let's go another Quick Attack. Okay. And a Quick Attack. All right. So... Man, I got. It's gonna be hard for me not to put Vulpix on the team. I'm not gonna lie. I really like Vulpix. I spent a lot of time with one um, during that challenge. Of course, to that end, it's a Pokemon I've used a lot versus a Pokemon like Seal, which I have not used a lot of. I mean, I had a Dugong on a team once upon a time, but it was it was short lived. I want to say it was in Gen Four. I remember I spent forever grinding it so I could fight the Dragon Gym, and it helped, but then it also died. So we need a nickname. Hold on, this is great. Now I can actually use your nicknames because we have comments from people. So hold on, let me go find it real quick. Blitz, welcome to the team, Blitz. Or so the question is, at least welcome to the box, Blitz. So, all right, should we, should we get Blitz though and add them up in place of data? Because God, I like fire types. But I haven't really used a seal before. Mmm. Tricky questions. Tricky questions. There's also one more route we could uh, potentially still go get. So you know, at the very least, we could leave someone at the daycare to be getting some levels. That's a consideration, perhaps we need to make. Um, let's do this though before we do anything else. Maybe we'll go to the next route and also see if we can't catch something there. We're gonna run through this tunnel, which goes on forever and ever. Here we go, underground path. We've got Sporkles out front, of course, of course. Now we're on Route 6. Let's see if we can, what we're going to catch on Route 6. It's going to be a Sneasel. Oh, okay, so now this is another Ice type, but it also gives us the dark coverage. Okay, that seems... I could be... Okay, yeah, I like that. That's cool. We're going we're gonna to try and catch this Sneasel real quick. Ooh, how fun. We don't have a dark type or an Ice... Well, I mean, we, well, we don't have an Ice type yet on the team. Mm hmm hmm Fell for the taunt. Well, that's no big deal, because we're going to attack you anyway. Woo! Sneasel is paralyzed. Can't move. Let's see. Go Pokeball. Okay. Huh? Oh, no, it got out. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Go again. Go again. What? Ah, we are so going to get you. We got seven more tries. I feel confident we can catch the Sneasel. Although we couldn't catch the Umbreon either. That was another dark type we missed out on. Can you imagine if we had the Umbreon? Nah, obviously Umbreon has been like the, the enemy of the whole freaking run at this point. Showing up on Peach's team. How dare it? Oh my goodness. Is this a joke? Okay, we're going for another quick attack. 
Oh, no, we killed it! No! No, no, no! Oh, man! Oh, of course. Of Oh, no. We're the dark types are eluding us, you guys. This is so annoying. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. Hold on. Okay, I decided what we're going to do is because I haven't used a seal before because I've used a Vulpix a lot. That at the moment, what I'm going to do is leave Blitz here at the daycare center. So should we ever need the Mighty Blitz, um, there they shall be. But uh, now I'm going to get my uh, data back out. There we go. We also went to the Pokemon Center and healed up some. Uh, and now the question, I think we should probably do just a little bit of grinding maybe before we go in. Start fighting trainers just so we can get CC and data up a little bit. Levels wise, let's uh, go back up here. Maybe there's more fun, cool things we can fight in this grass, huh? Ooh, a Metatite. Ooh, actually, we don't want to fight that with um, CC because fighting less good. Um, ooh, Drakus. Oh, how dare you! I guess we could also teach something dig. We should consider that a little bit, huh? Because that's... Oh, a scissor! Are you kidding? We could have got a scissor! That's so... Oh, man! We have run into scissors and scythers in the grass now. And we haven't... Oh, that's... That hurts, you guys. It hurts my, my soul to know that we missed that. Oh, man, it's not too late. We could still... We could still find... Could still find a different scissor or a different site there somewhere in another grass but man my my dream of having one of them on my nuzlocke team continues to elude me there's the vulpix again uh let's see oh gosh it does so much damage to cc and we get so little experience from happy for defeating it oh there's level 14 yeah okay great great all right, I'm going to go do a little bit of grinding for a second, so I will be uh, right back, but please enjoy the music, and I will uh, see you in a second. All right, grinding over. I just got them um, both up to level 18. That seemed like good enough to hang with everybody else. I will. I did decide to give data the water pulse tm because i figured you know what if we're going to commit we may as well commit hard so we now and and then data also learned icy wounds so we have an ice type move on the team that's awesome um and headbutt pretty good what i actually found uh surprising when i was training uh cc here is that i wouldn't have expected it but tackle is actually her best move uh because i guess it gets the normal stab and like look at the attack 50 so high uh Almost as good as Happy, despite being, yeah, 11 levels lower. Just about as good of an attacker um, on that front. So that's pretty impressive, I dare say, uh, in, the, in that regard. So definitely the second best attacker on the team. So that's a tough tackle that CC is throwing down. Probably helps that uh, she is an evolved Pokemon at this point as well. So anyway, we're going to, I think, going to keep leading with CC here. Uh, as we head down the street, we're going to fight some trainers and see what's what. I cannot believe we missed another dark type. They are, like, determined to avoid us. It's unbelievable. Oh, he has Hyper Cutter. That's funny. Okay, so we actually can't use Intimidate on this thing. No big deal. We shall tackle it down. Oh, Bubble, you think that's funny? Hilarious. Now you're dead. Raloper. Okay. Um... I guess we could probably just keep going, right? Although, let's go ahead and let's go through the four times effective sporkles here to hit this thing with a nasty spark. It's dead. Yeah, just like that. CC go to level 19. That's awesome. Mode on CC. And trying to learn Lick. Yes, let's get rid of something for Lick. Uh, sharply cutting its attack. That seems good. I think we're going to get rid of Scary Face because we already have that on um, Happy anyway. And Lick, now we have a ghost type move on the team, although it's not, mm, well, to that end, it's like, it's not a very good special attacker, but I guess it could leave, mm, hmm. I'm gonna go for it anyway. 
just because it can uh, paralyze in a pinch. But we'll see if it ends up being useful or not. Spark, this guy, Water Trainer, had no chance. Good job, Sporks. You got him. You got him. Killed him dead. No big deal. Hey, well, who's there? Quit listening in on us. What? Oh, you have a shell gun. I know just how to fight you. Because guess what? We have an ice type now. That's amazing. Let's see it. You never get to use ice moves this early in the game. Oh, gosh. But it used... Hmm. It did not do as much as I would have thought. But... Oh, super effective. And we lost the speed there. Rage is building. Used rage. Not that worried about it. Oh, yeah. No, we got this thing. Icy wind. Boom. Dead. Ha. Camper rookie. You got nothing, dude. Did do a little more damage to us than I would have liked, but we're just gonna so we're just gonna burn a potion real quick on you. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job, everyone. And we're gonna talk to this chick. See what she's got. A cacnea. You think? Do you think she's a grass type or a dark type? We'll find out, won't we? This is like one of those like is ghost good against? Dark? I think ghost is good against dark, right? Or is it dark against ghost? Dark's good against psychic. Are these like a little triangle like that? We're going to tackle him anyway. It's not going to matter. It's dead. Oh, man. We're getting so... Oh, a Sceptile. So it's a Grass Trainer, in case you were wondering. Um, see, we also... Oh, that's the other thing. I was going to say, well, we don't have a Fire type. But we do have an Ice type. Uh, maybe we don't even need it, though. Let's just go for the straight-up tackle and see how that does. They absorb. Okay, I'm surprised that didn't do a little more damage. Quick attack. That's... Ugh. Okay, man. See, look how big that tackle goes. That's pretty good. Cece holding her own 700 experience. Bam, just like that at level 20. That's awesome. Well done, Cece. Now we're going to switch out to uh, Ada because we just got two quick levels with Cece there. And we'll see what this guy's got. I've never seen you around. Are you good? This guy normally has a very nasty Butterfree. Let's see what he's got this time. Atropius. Oh, that'd be a cool Pokemon to have. I'm not going to lie. That'd be pretty fun. Oh, the, ooh, so this is tricky because we have an Ice-type move, but it's a Grass-type Pokemon and... Um, we're only water type. We're not an ice type yet. So if he hits us with grass stuff, that's going to be bad. So we're going to switch to... Let's go to Dracus because Dracus should resist, resist grass. Oh, but he's using flying types. Ah, uh, see, is Tropius part flying? I think it is because I think we would have been pretty effective with the ice because that's strong against grass and flying. But um, no big deal. We're just going to headbutt this thing. Stomp! Oh, gosh. Stomp is like a, a no-joke move. Here's what we're going to... Oh, man. Oh, man, I really don't want to lose freaking... You know what we should have done? We should have done... Okay, we're going to go Rock Tomb on this thing. Because that'll lower its speed. And it should be super effective. But, man, it didn't... Stop. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Dracus, Dracus, Dracus. Let's go... We're going to switch... So if we do CC, then we can get in and Intimidate, which would be nice, because then it would do less damage overall. Go to Moirin. Let's do. I don't think the Stomp would knock out. I don't think Stomp would knock out CC. Special after the Intimidate. So let's do this just to do that real quick. Oh, it's going gross. He's getting special attack up. Hmm. Grass is a special type attack, so I'm not even sure. But Stomp isn't. So that's what we're more concerned about. Um, we could do Charm too while we're here, right? Or we could just switch out. Let's do this. Let's go to. It has gust though, doesn't it? Did it use gust? Maybe we can just. Hmm. Let's go with. Let's go to sporkles because that's going to resist the grass and. Um. Everything and we. Oh, razor leaf. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Now we should be able to hit him for some. Some. No. Wait. What am I thinking? I don't know. You know what? It's not going to matter because Sporkles totally knocks this thing out. No big deal. Dracus goes a level. That's awesome. Trying to learn focus energy. Yes? Maybe? Uh, I'm going to say more than Leer because focus energy at least gives us higher critical hit chance. And you never know when a good critical hit can save the day. I'm going to go heal real quick because a lot of people took damage in that. Wow, what a weird fight with Tropius. Who would have thought? Hold on. All right, we're back and we're ready to fight these guys. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they're, I mean, who knows what they're gonna have. It's just, I, sometimes they, you're like weak enough by the time you get to these two that they can like uh, knock you off and make you like just walk all the way back here. But, oh, a Dodrio, great, 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 great. Um, let's see, we're gonna icy wind that thing. 
It's gonna, oh gosh, our defenses are not high on, oh, and we missed? It, that's no good, okay, Sporkles, get in here. Come in, Sporks, come on, you got it, Fury Attack. Uh-huh, that's fantastic. Let's go Spark on this thing, and it's dead. That's what I thought, Sporkles, there you go. So this guy's got all flying types, which means um, going down. Sporkles, you got it, no problems, no problems. Boy, that weak defense on Data is coming up a lot quickly, it feels like. Don't like that, don't like that. All right, let's see. Uh, you wanna to talk to me? Especially if you're gonna miss on the icy winds. Ooh, okay. We got Sableye. Okay, maybe we can confuse it. Let's hit it with the Water Pulse. Nightshade, uh. Okay, so it's gonna do 16 damage every time, so we're guaranteed to survive another shot of it. Let's do Water Pulse again. Astonish. Okay, so we should be good because we're faster and this is 100% accuracy, so we're gonna knock this thing out. There we go, it's down, and we should get a level out of that. Data, awesome, excellent. But we are low on health, and I don't like that. Let's see. Mischievous, okay, so it looks like it's a ghost type. It's possibly something like Pursuit, and if it used Pursuit right now, I would be so mad. But what we're gonna do is switch into Dragus. Psywave, okay. Psywave, which you can do, is the weirdest attack. It does like, random amounts of damage. Spite, and we use Bite, and that shit is super effective, but not as super effective as you would have thought damage-wise. Oh, you see the difference in the side waves? Oh, geez, I don't like it. Okay, so if it hit us with something like that, we would be gone. So we're gonna, um, let's just shift it out. Oh, you went for the growl, though. Okay, we're gonna hit you with that bite instead. I was trying to get extra experience. Tried to get, tried to get me with that side wave. Man, that could have been bad. Could have been bad, but we survived it. Now we heal here. Hooray, huzzah. Well done. Okay. What's fun is that now we can go over to, ooh, we can go into Diglett's cave and catch a Pokemon there. And we can catch a Pokemon in this grass over here. So let's go in Diglett's cave first. See what's the what. Um, we're gonna put, as long as we're going into the cave and trying to catch something, we're gonna put Sporkles out front because we can use Thunder Wave and that's good for catching stuff. Although we should actually, you know what we're gonna do? What we're really gonna do is go buy more Pokeballs because we have been very bad at catching stuff in this particular run, haven't we? And how many do we have? Not enough, not enough. Now we have enough, hopefully. We'll see, we have 10. You think if we couldn't catch something in 10 Pokeballs, that'd be bad news. All right, what's it gonna be? What's our next encounter? It's a wheezing. Ooh, that's, that's pretty tempting, you guys. Now, what's potentially dangerous about this is does it have, uh, <laughs> is does it, does it have explosion on it? That's always something you really wanna look out for when you're fighting. Um, wheezings or coughings in these games. In fact, I'm so nervous about it, I'm gonna to switch to CC to throw an Intimidate on it because it should do physical damage if it does happen. Use Tackle, okay. So that didn't do much. We're also gonna use Charm on it so that, <laughs> that we really hurt its odds of hurting us. Um, and then maybe we'll do give it the old lick to try and- Oh, it did self-destruct, no! Okay, but you see, we prepared appropriately, so. The game does not want us to catch Pokemon. <laughs> I cannot believe the number of things we have missed out on so far. This is terrible. So, uh, Weezing didn't want to be on the team so bad that it self-destructed. That's fine, my feelings aren't hurt, it's okay. Uh, Weezing's only one of my favorite Pokemon, but whatever, 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 whatever. Who cares, not me, I'm fine, I'm fine with it. I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, Weezing was the first Pokemon I ever did like any like EV training on. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's cool. We'll just catch something in this route. Something that wants to be on the team, Weezing. Forget you. Look, we took one step into this grass and it's a Corellia. Ooh, or a Curlia, sorry. This, okay. All right, now we're talking, now we're talking. Curlia is, a, that's a great Pokemon. Okay. Hmm, that's a pretty, I, it's gonna be hard not to put Curlia on the team. That's, that's pretty good. If we catch it, if we catch it, that's a big if, right? Um, let's do, let's start with a quick Thunder Wave here. Paralyzed, confusion, let's see how it does. We have strong special defense, so we should be pretty good here, yeah. Then we'll throw a quick attack at it. 
Oh no! No! We critical hit it with a quick attack. Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever seen such bad luck? I mean, I know we caught a shiny and that accounted for probably most of the luck we're going to get for the whole game. <sighs> That's three Pokemon we have failed to catch in this episode. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, who, how, am I, but, you know, you know what I mean? Like, why? Can't we have nice things? I mean, we have nice things. Our Pokemon are already awesome. And we just have to be thankful for the team we have. These, these are the Pokemon that want to be here. These Pokemon want to be here. They don't all get along, but they want to be here. And they want to be on this team. And that's what's important. <sighs> I can't tell you how frustrating it is, though. We missed out on the Sneasel and the Curlier. We could have had... I don't know if that would have been, I don't know what constitutes evolving into Gardevoir and or Galide, but we could have had Galide and or Gardevoir on the team. Let's see what this guy wants. We don't need you. You know what, We all we need is Sporkles to spark this thing. You, got, you, can't, you can't hurt Sporks. You can't hurt Mighty Sporkle. That's right. Boom, dead. Ha, Eddie. Get out of here. I'm, I'm now I'm angry that we can catch Curly. I'm like, cool. That'd be fun. We have a really powerful psychic type on the team. Still, we don't. We have... no. Oh, a Plusle. A hilarious. A Plusle. Ooh. We're going to switch into Moirin. Yeah. Uh. You got it, Moirin. Oh, you got you going to use Thunder Wave on me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. You see how weak that Plusle's quick attack was? Not our quick attack. No sirree, but our quick attack is like the strongest thing you ever knew. Oh my gosh. I'm just, that's so annoying. It's a, this, this feels very much like episode one, you guys, like where I keep running into these fun things and we keep missing them for stupid reasons, like self-destruct. Could have had a Weezing. Could have had a Weezing. Could have had a Weezing. Could have had a Curly. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna. We're just gonna keep training. We're just gonna keep training. It's gonna be fine. Oh, a Dugong! See, this is what you could be, Data. Level 19 Dugong. Observe. What we're going to do is we're going to switch you into Moirin, who is going to... Oh, Aurora Beam. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, it's super effective. Okay. Well, we didn't like that. Not one bit. Um, so, sorry, Moirin. That was a bad switch. Instead, what we're going to do is go into Sporkles. There's the Aurora Beam again. But oh, we're going to spark this thing. Dead. Icy Wind. Mm-hmm. Got lots of Icy moves over there. Not good enough. They had to go to level 20. Maybe we can get Aurora Beam. That'd be great. Sporkle's good to level 25. Two levels, one. Oh, Ice Trainer, Ice Trainer. Okay. Um, <laughs> this guy's got a ground typing on it, too, so that's trickier. Ice ground. We don't have a good... Well, so it doesn't make Moirin great because the ice moves would hurt. Um, let's go to Happy. It'd be great if we could get Happy to evolve. Maybe we should focus on that. That's a good... That'd be a good solid... Victory for everyone, right? If Happy evolves, I think we only need one more level. So maybe we should focus on that happening. Curlia. Could have been great. Could have been great. I feel bad you guys are all leaving comments. As it, like, I, I, you know, it's so great that you believe I can catch Pokemon. That's all, you know, that's all I need is your confidence, is your belief in me, even though it's obviously misplaced because... <laughs> This far into the game, how many have we missed? We've whiffed like seven pokes. Oh, man, a lot of ice trainers over in this grass, huh? There we go. There we go. Sporkles is as unstoppable as ever. X defend. I'm going to um, paralyze heal. No, we're not paralyzed. 
I'm just going to super potion Moira in here. There we go. What's this guy want? Competition, I can't get enough. Blah, 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 blah. Finish one. Okay. Is this another ice type trainer? This is getting crazy. Uh, we're gonna endure. Interesting move. Oh, boom. We're gonna get happy to evolve. That's our new goal. A wall rain. That's interesting. This is the third ice trainer in this grass. What are the odds of that? That could be, this could be it, because that could give out a lot of it, XP. Oh, it was close. Okay, we're gonna try and switch in Happy almost no matter what in this fight, so we get the experience that we desire. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Steel could be a tricky type for us. I'm not sure what we really have for it. Let's see, how does water, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're obviously totally fine destroying steel types because that was an easy kill. There's level 30. All right, so I think we're going to evolve after this battle. That'll be exciting. That'll be a good morale booster after all the letdowns of this um, episode. Ugh. And the fact that we could have caught a, like, a scissor. Instead, we caught Fulpix. Whatever. This game is just taunting me. It's like, oh, you want fun random things? Here they are. You can't have them. You get critical hits on things with quick attack with your low attack Pokemon. Here we go, Happy's evolving! Yay! Oh, this is good, this is good. I mm, I mean, it's obviously great for the team. I have a feeling Dracus not gonna be super happy about this. Dracus who so badly wants to be a Salamence and is still a stage one Pokemon, while the very Pokemon she despises most are Happy has now fully evolved. Happy, who has the position that Dracus wants, has the evolution that Dracus wants. Yeah, I, I don't imagine Dracus is going to be very happy that that just happened. However, I am very happy that Happy evolved. Let's take a look at our new Pokemon stats, shall we? Look at that. Look at we're only in episode five and we have a fully evolved starter. That's pretty awesome. For I love how they spelled for alligator. Like they just decided. TR was totally the way to end that. I wonder if they just ran out of letters and were like, guys, we have for alligators its name, and this is the spot. We have to license plate it. Uh there we oh man, the attack is sky high. Alright, so we have a very good ace in the hole now. Yay, happy. Good job. That's amazing. Can we? Here I was wondering if I would have to make hard decisions about who should be on the team when I can't even get new members for the team. Ugh, Quilava! Oh, you're so going down. Water Pulse! Smoke screen and dead. Boom, 21. That's awesome. Well done. Oh, Aurora Beam! We are going to learn it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's see. What can we get rid of? So, Icy Wind is 55, 95 accuracy. This is 65, 100 accuracy. I really don't know why we would keep them both on the team. Uh, like, there's Growl, which is... Yeah, we're going to get rid of Icy Wind, <coughs> for sure, because it's just worse in every way. And we can still get rid of Growl now for something else. But yay, Aurora Beam, that's fantastic. Let's see, I have never won before. Oh, well, that's a real bummer. A Dunsparce? Well, that's probably why you haven't won, my man. You know what? Lots of ro oh, Beyond. Okay, how does Water Pulse do against you? We got a lot of defense over there, and now we're asleep. Fantastic. All right, Data, come on. Rage. Give you something to rage about. Defense Girl and then Rage is not the worst strategy, I guess, because then you can take more hits, right? Oh, the far fetch. So this, on the other hand, we should be able to Aurora Beam into the next world. Yeah, because you're weak. So what was that? Wait, what was his typing? Normal, I guess? Yeah. Because Dunspar, Dunspar certainly isn't flying type, right? That wouldn't make any sense. Let's see. How are we looking levels-wise? Should we... Everyone's at least 21. In that case, let's put Dracus up front to get her some more experience. I'm sure she would appreciate that since the uh, evolution in this. Rock Tomb this thing. I am. Oh, dead! Cyndaquil, see you later. Cyndaquont. This guy's got a bunch of fire types. Maybe we can just keep Rock Tombing them. We should also, oh, don't poison us, don't poison us. Yeah, that's what I thought. Speed down, now can we hit them twice? Getting way better accuracy. You can tell Dracus is focused right now. 
700 experience. That's amazing. And Quilava. Okay, so pretty interesting fire team this guy's got. Look at the just the absolute accuracy of the rock tombs. I say that and then we miss. And then we get smoke screen. So maybe we'll go for a headbutt for the kill. Yeah, okay. 22. One fight later, we got a level. Nice. Well done, Dracus. Good fight. Good fight. Good show. Escape rope. Yay. Let's go fight this guy. I think this is the last guy on the route. <laughs> I have never lost. Um, bah, 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 bah. We're going to switch out to... Well, I would do Data, but I don't want... Data's got such low defense, and we've got, like, half health, so I'm just going to go to Happy here to wreck this thing. We can give our, uh... Man, frick, how jacked does Happy look? It looks so strong. Although, I have to say, is it just me? Am I going to be able to unsee this for the rest of the run? I think it's just supposed to look like the like the um the rest of his spine but the way they have it positioned it looks like his butt right there above the text is it just me ben no it looks it looks like one pops. it looks <laughs> that is that looks like a happy butt right there is what i'm seeing i don't know if it's just me or if you didn't see it and now you do i'm sorry but that is <laughs> like why would they make that the sprite that's so bad that is hilarious it's Oh my gosh, it looks so much like a butt. <laughs> I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. It's a butt. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Why would you start with Layrod and then switch to A-Rod? That's okay. Oh my gosh, that that makes me... That's so funny. That Happy... Man, Happy's been not skipping squat day, am I right? <laughs> oh god, did I fight you? Okay. Man... Oh man, well, you guys, I think that we're um, at a pretty good stopping point. We've cleared out two routes. We tried to catch four different Pokemon. We only caught one. We were left in the daycare. If you guys, if you guys are um, like really, really team Blitz and really think that uh, Blitz should be on the team, let me know in the towel section down below. Um, and I promise, you know, if I do ever catch anything good, I will name one. I will continue to name them after you. But it's a pretty big if because the the game seems so against me at the moment, and yeah, that's that's lame. But anyway, thank you so much as always for watching today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. But until next time, bye.